Hi, meet John Jones. John is the Vice President, Information Systems at Telematics Inc. Telematics Inc. has offices across the globe, with a significant presence in Boston and London, mandating the need to have local IT support offices at both locations. John has small yet efficient teams in Boston and London that are capable of handling different types of support requests. Due to a high volume of requests and with an eye on keeping costs low, John has also engaged the services of a business process outsourcing firm in Bangalore to handle requests remotely. When a customer sends in a request for help using the online form, a support ticket is generated and routed to the appropriate team based on the point of origination of the request. For example, tickets that originated in London were routed to the London team and tickets that originated in Boston were routed to the team in Boston. Support tickets were processed based on availability of agents and the priority of the request. The processing rules for each team were different. Additionally, prioritizing of tickets was difficult and Ben and Lenny the managers of the support teams at Boston and London, respectively, had to decide on ticket priority manually. In each case, the tickets were manually picked by agents from amongst the pending support tickets. Strict service level agreements, or SLAs, and escalation procedures were mandated so that the backlog of requests were kept to a minimum. Support tickets generated were assigned to an agent in London or Boston within varying spans. If these SLAs were not met, the ticket was manually escalated and assigned for priority clearance by Ben or Lenny to the support team in Bangalore. The processing rule for Bangalore had the ticket being assigned to the agent with the least workload. Occasionally, tickets getting assigned to the Bangalore team required on-site assistance, leading to longer resolution times. In all three regions, there were various ways in which a ticket was assigned to an agent, Assignments could be based on rules like priority or agent workloads or simply assigned by a team manager. All this happened manually. After a support agent had been assigned a ticket, he or she started the process of resolution. The agent then sought clarification from the customer. Such communication usually took place in an ad hoc manner and was time-consuming. Customers took a long time to respond and agents sometimes did not get a good idea of the issue in question. If an agent sought further clarifications, the ticket was routed back to the customer for a response. Following the customer's response, the agent could continue to work on the resolution or seek further clarifications. When an agent had marked a ticket as resolved, a notification to this effect was telephonically communicated to the customer. If the customer found the resolution to be satisfactory, notifications were sent to the respective support agent and team leaders. On the other hand, if a customer was dissatisfied, the ticket was routed back to the support agent to continue the resolution process. Here too, John did not know what the statistics were on the extent of customer satisfaction on resolved issues. End result, unhappy customers and frustrated agents. John and his team were faced with a number of challenges in ensuring cost-effective, rapid and efficient resolution of support tickets. There was very little control over the IT support process. The team did not know how many issues were open as they awaited feedback on issues that had been attended to. Hardware issues were covered by a vendor warranty and John's team was unaware of how many issues were awaiting vendor interaction. The help desk function was extremely sensitive to changes in resource strength, systems and technology. Rapid identification of bottlenecks in the support process was also a challenge. Resource utilization was sluggish as it was difficult to identify which resources were loaded or which were idle. Ensuring that support tasks were distributed based on resource experience Availability and previous success rate was also a challenge. John did not know what the trend in volume of tickets being raised was across different time frames. 
Consequently, resource management was a challenge. In addition to these challenges, the operating procedures for ticket processing was defined, and even minor changes in the way tickets were handled resulted in extensive changes being made in the application code. This was not a scalable way of handling ticket resolution. Addition of new support locations remained a challenge as processes were not institutionalized. John was in search of a solution that would help him and his team to be more productive, cost-effective, and lean. John believes the answer to all his challenges lies in workflow automation and business process management. John's search led him to Skelter BPM. Skelter BPM allows for collaboration between people, systems, and documents across organization hierarchies and locations. It uses familiar Microsoft tools, XML, and web services. Skelter's model-driven process framework allows dynamic change to the process in real time with no compiled code necessary. This enables easy composition, adaptation, and control of process-based applications that utilize any IT asset. Businesses can own and adapt the business process as required, and IT does not have to anticipate or be involved in every business decision. Skelter BPM was easily installed, and business users such as John or any of his managers could quickly configure rules for processing of tickets. With Skelter's integration to the Microsoft suite of products, John and his team could quickly create workflow-related documents. Skelter BPM easily integrated with other enterprise applications using a variety of connectors, such as the SAP connector or the BizStock connector. After the installation of Skelter BPM, tickets generated based on their point of origin are routed to the appropriate team in either London or Boston. Support agents could then accept and start resolution of these tickets. Skelter BPM now enabled ticket routing with a number of algorithms such as First In First Out or FIFO or Last In First Out or LIFO. Additionally, ticket prioritization was also automated based on severity and priority. If the ticket was not accepted by an agent within five minutes of assignment to the team, the ticket was now automatically escalated to either Ben or Lenny in five minutes. If no action was taken by Ben or Lenny within an additional five minutes, these tickets were automatically routed to the outsourced support location in Bangalore. Tickets accepted by agents in London or Boston but not processed within 10 minutes automatically got routed to the team in Bangalore. In all three regions, there are various ways in which a ticket is assigned to an agent. Assignments could now be based on rules like priority or agent workloads or simply allocated by a team leader. Specific tickets which require specific agent skill sets could now be directly assigned to agents possessing that skill set. All approvals and escalations were automated. Escalations could now be based on time or ticket priority. Dynamic queue management was now possible and tickets could now be pulled by agents or pushed to agents by Ben or Lenny based on certain logic. Queues could be configured based on the team using that queue. Effective support queue management was critical in London and Boston, where there were fewer agents catering to a large number of tickets. Scouter BPM integrated with multiple user databases, such as Active Directory on Windows, or even users and roles on a SharePoint portal. Creation and integration of forms using Scouter BPM was now a breeze. Dynamic calendar configurations allowed for the creation of multi-level calendars based on resource or organization. This allowed for processes to continue, even in the case of resource unavailability, by routing tasks to alternate resources. Clarifications from customers as well as notifications of completion could now be sent or obtained via multiple channels, such as email, instant messengers, voice, 
PDAs, or even SMSs. All these features enabled quick resolution of issues. John now had complete process visibility. Trends on ticket volumes, resource utilization, and efficiency were now available in real time. Teams were confident that the automated workflow would ensure SLAs were met. Automated customer satisfaction surveys post-issue resolution gave John insight on his team's effectiveness. Customers, too, now knew that issues would be resolved rapidly and to their satisfaction. End result. Happy customers and a productive, lean, and cost-effective support team. Scouter BPM provided for an exhaustive set of reports on various business processes hosted on the workflow engine. Key performance indicators or KPIs could now be customized and configured. Real-time notification of SLA deviations was now possible. John and his team could now make real-time business-level decisions in response to system events. Scouter BPM provided for an inbuilt Business Alerts Monitoring, or BAM, which helped analyze transaction and execution statistics. What's more, if a certain threshold or KPI was reached, an additional workflow could now be triggered. Statistics on business process performance were readily available. Overdue analysis and productivity tracking was now possible in real time. Additionally, John could even automate exception handling. Scalter BPM enabled the conversion of real-time business events into actionable information to improve operational efficiency. Scalter BPM provided a framework to orchestrate infrastructure services and business processes across disparate domains. This BPM platform ensured higher levels of people-centric and system-centric collaboration to allow people, teams, organizations, and systems to work together more effectively. Scalter BPM eliminates the business and IT divide while reducing the time, cost, and risk of mainstream BPM. Small incremental solutions provide immediate return on investment and ensure easy migration to larger BPM processes. Using Skelter BPM, businesses can think big, start small, and scale fast.